Hi, I'm Margaret with Fishmonger Approved, and today we're going to have a lesson in filleting a black grouper. Here's a nice sized black grouper that I picked up this morning from our friends at Fish Busters down on Madeira Beach. It's a beautiful fish. Let me show you a couple things you want to look for when you're picking out a fish. First of all, the fish size is very important. This is a, a decent sized fish for filleting. Um, doesn't have a really big head on it. Um, it's probably maybe about 15 inches long. It's a decent size uh, as far as your yield. You're going to get a better yield on a smaller fish. The bigger the fish, the more head you've got, and there's not a lot of meat in the head. Make it a couple of good sized cheeks and a throat, but that's not what we're looking for. So the other thing I'm looking for, I'm going to take a look at the gills. Let me show you what I'm looking for. You see how nice and pink those gills are? That's what you want to see. You also want to see some nice clear eyes. It's also important to have a little bit of a slime on the fish. You don't want a fish that's all dried out. That usually means it's been sitting around too long. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the fish and cut its head off. So I've got my nice sharp boning knife, and I'll show you a little bit later how you keep your tools sharp. But what we're going to do right now is take the head off. So if you take a look here, I'm going to make an incision across. There's a little bit of a hinge on the top of the jaw on the fish. So I'm going to go ahead and take a cut there. And then there's a hinge that goes in the opposite direction. So I'm going to cut back down through that way again and underneath the fin of the fish, the front fin. You just want to get as close as you can to the fin and underneath that joint. Once I've done that, I'm going to turn the fish over and do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to cut with, the, my, with my knife towards the top underneath that front hinge and come back the other way under the bottom hinge. Around the front fin towards the bottom just like that so what I'm doing right now is I'm also exposing the throat piece of the fish which I'll show you how to remove once we snap the head off next thing I want to do is make one little cut on the top of the head just so I have a clean cut when I remove the head watch this take the head like that in one direction and then go in the other direction might have to clean it up just a little bit, but that head should come off real nice. And you have a nice clean piece of fish to work with. Set that aside for now. Now to take the fillet off, I start with the left side of the fish. So with my boning knife, I'm going to take it and put it against the dorsal fin and just start making a slight incision through the skin of the fish, working towards the backbone. What you want to do is let your fillet knife rest along the backbone as you're cutting. The nice thing about this knife, of course this is an older knife, if you see, I've, I've sharpened it quite a few times so you've got a little bit of an angle on it, but the whole thing about this knife is it's rounded so you can move in two different directions as you're cutting and that's, that's the beauty of it versus a, a stiff knife where you don't have much of an option but just to go in one direction. So I'm taking the knife and I'm following it along the backbone. I want smooth cuts. And again, here's the rib cage. What I'm doing is I'm coming down, following the rib cage, and I'm going to come across, as soon as I get down to this level, I'm going to hit, hit the pin bone. And what you want to do when you hit the pin bone is just give it a little bit of a nudge, and you'll snap right through that pin bone. So again, following the rib cage down, follow through the fish, take my knife and come up through it this way. I've got my one side. Now you're going to flip the fish over and start the other side. And I start it by cutting first against the bottom. You have that little fin on the bottom of the fish right here. Let me just show you from another angle. So what I'm going to do is take my knife. Again, I'm following. There's a little bone that this, this fin is attached to the fish by. So just follow that little bone towards the rear of the fish. Once I've done that, and I'm going to make this an incision towards the tail, just to get through the skin and start following back up the backbone, the same way I did the other side, but just in reverse. Come right through the skin just a little bit. Just be careful because the fish is pretty slippery, so it's it's easy for it to move around on the table a lot. So just try to hold a firm grip with your with your opposing hand. Come right through. I want to press towards the, the backbone of the fish. I'm going to pull the fish skin up a little bit as I come towards the rib cage on this side. There's that pin bone. And there you have the 
second floor. And that's what you want to see. Nice see-through fish. Okay, now the next step is going to be, let's take the skin off the fish. And I'll use my fillet knife to go ahead and hold the fish. And this is a skinning knife. It's a nice flat. Some, some people call it a bread knife, but it's really a skinning knife if you're, if you're a fishmonger. So my nice, sharp skinning knife. I'm going to go ahead and take the skin off, but I'm going to also hold the tail of the fish with my fillet knife. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it that way. And then I'll grab the skin. The motion that you want here is to go ahead and pull while your knife is on an angle towards your fillet table. You just really want to pull the skin as you push. So it's kind of like a dual motion there. Once you're done with that, the pin bone in the fish on this side is going to be right through here. So we're going to remove the pin bone on this fillet. The pin bone is going to be on a little bit of an angle towards the top and that way towards the base of the fish. So just take it gently and you can, you can feel it as you're running your knife across there, removing the pin bone. Just like that, pin bone out. Let's set this one aside. And do the same thing on the other half of the fillet. Pull the tail with my fillet knife, skinning knife. Press towards the table. Just give it a gentle pull, push, just like that. What you want is, to, you know, you don't want to leave any meat on the fish. So that's kind of what you're looking for right there. It looks a little bit like a snake skin. On this side, when I filleted it, I left a little bit of the belly on, which is fine. It's, you know, the, but if you do that, this piece of the fin, you're going to feel a little bit of bone in that. So I'm going to take my lay knife and just gently remove some of that just to clean it up a little bit pin bone same thing take the pin bone out and there you have it the other half of the fillet now what I want to demonstrate on my black ripper is how you pull the throats out of the fish the throats you could use for a couple different things you can either a lot of people bake them in the oven um, I like to put them in, um, if I boil it down and I'm making a stock, the meat will fall off of it. There's a lot of different things you can do, but you really don't want to waste the, the throat of the fish. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, if you look at the fish from the bottom side, it's around the, the two gill plates. As you're going to see, there's a very fine piece of flesh that you're going to cut through on both sides. Okay, so the first I'm going to do is on this side, I'm just going to go ahead and just do a little bit of a cut there right through the skin. On the other side, the same thing, just cut right through there. And you'll see it'll pull off pretty, pretty easily towards the back. One last cut towards the top of the fish. And there you have it. Looks like bird's wings, kind of, you know, worth keeping. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cheeks out of the, out of the fish. So the cheeks are also got, got a nice uh, sweet flavor, lots of good meat in those. You want to make sure that you keep the cheeks. So again, with my fillet knife, I'm going to take it right towards his mouth right there, and I'm just going to start moving it kind of like a, uh, a melon. You know, if you pretend like it's like a, a melon shape, because it is, it's round. I just did a, a circular motion with my, the tip of my knife feeling towards the base of the bone of the fish. So once I've done that, I've got the, the cheek out like that. I'm just going to take it like this, little incision, and it pulls off just like that in your fingers. Again on the second side. I'm going to do it from the top this time. Come around the top just like a little melon. You're going to have to trust the knife as you'll feel it as you're pushing towards the bone on the fish. One little incision that way, and then I'm going to take it out with my finger, just like that. And that's your group of cheeks. This is for the crabs. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you on my next fish. Hi, I'm Marta with Fish Market Approved. Today we're going to have a lesson in how to fillet a black group. There's a nice size one.